This is Syria, capital Damascus, and this is Idlib province, a small shop in the town of Khan Shakun, and meet 29-year-old shop owner Abdel Hamid Al Yusuf. Hi. Each day, Abdel Hamid would open his shop to provide for his wife and family, including twin babies Aya and Ahmad. Before dawn on April 4th, Abdel Hamid and his family were asleep. They woke up to the sound of a blast next to their house. Smoke was everywhere. Hamid's uncle Al Yusuf ran out to sea. A woman walking nearby suddenly collapsed. The uncle knew something was wrong. He rushed back inside and closed his windows. Family covered their faces with cloths dampened with water and apple vinegar. The wind blew the smoke away from their house. But Abdul Hamid's family had a different fate. He fled his house with his wife and twins to find a safe haven. Aya and Ahmed were conscious at first, but soon they began shaking and struggling to breathe. Abdul Hamid carried them outside. They fell sick. Abdul Hamid took them to paramedics, hoping Aya and Ahmed would be okay. Hamid went to find his extended family. Instead, he found the bodies of two of his brothers, two nephews, a niece, as well as neighbors and friends. Those who were still alive were shivering. A yellowish foam was coming from their mouths. Their bodies were turning blue. Kids fell unconscious sooner. Doctors said they were the most vulnerable. Finally, Abdel Hamid received the news he didn't want to hear. Relatives said his children and wife had suffocated from the gas. They were dead. The twins looked like they were just sleeping. Abdel Hamid hugged his children for the last time before burying them. The heartbroken father spoke to his daughter at the graveside. I used to say, my beautiful blonde girl, I would never leave you. My beautiful daughter, you are leaving me alone. 